Hi Aries, welcome to your July no contact love tarot reading. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Inside Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Aries, we're looking at the person on your mind, whoever you're thinking of, no matter your circumstance or situation, and looking at their energy and seeing what they're doing, what's going on for them, why there may be no contact or communication, and see what's going on for them. And this is for those who truly want to know. So if you're here, but you could give a rat's ass. And it may not be a reading, depending on what comes out. All right. Aries, sun, moon, rising, Venus, male or female. General collective reading. Please only take what resonates for you, including the signs mentioned. And you definitely can flip, switch, reverse the energies around anytime you feel the need to. Cross watchers as well. It could be a reading for you. All right, welcome in Aries. I hope you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. Well, we do have the mask here. So this is um, an energy of being who you need to be at any given moment. And we have 40, which is four. That is foundation stability. So, and you have kind of like three masks here, like a mask for any occasion, any direction, all right, let's see. Well, we have the cross here, which is about heavy burdens. We have 36, which is nine, almost completion, endings, new beginnings. And we have the six of clubs down here, which is the six of pentacles. Nope, that's the six of wands, which is about success, victory. I don't know, we'll see where that's going. Well, we have the sun, which is the happiest card in the deck. 31, another four. And we have the Ace of Pentacles down here, which could be the start of a, a long-term possibility here. And the Sun is the happiest card in the deck. Growth, enlightenment, healing, um, expansion, abundance, prosperity, happiness, joy, love. It's everything. And then we have the Lilies here, which is kind of like a peace offering. Or it could be just a sign of peace. And we have here 30. So that's three, that's growth expansion. So let's see, we have four, two fours, a nine and a three. And we have the King of Swords down here, which that King of Swords can be about truth, clarity, communication. And that's Gemini energy. So your person's carrying some sort of heavy burden here. And I think they've been covering it up or wearing a mask about it. But we have the sun, which could be um, enlightenment, which things coming to light here and then some sort of either peace coming finally into their life or um, peace offering towards you to heal. For some, I'm getting a heavy energy here. For some of you, they may have had a loved one pass over, like a parental figure or something like that. And it's uh, and they may be the type when th this could be someone the type that when they go through uh, despair and sadness and grief and mourning they withdraw their energy so that could be what's going on here as well so let's see all right because with this <laughs> I mean with the cross and the lilies here and if you look at the lilies really close in the background doesn't it look like church windows in a way so, and the cross as well is giving me those vibes. So, I mean, that may not resonate for everybody, so take it how you will. All right. So they may have had a recent uh, loved one pass over and they're not taking it or dealing it very well, which may include shutting you out. All right. So let's see. Let's see. Aries. So that could, you know, that may resonate for one person, but take it how you will. Or it could be just a loss of something else. All right. All right, Aries. Everything you need to know is down below. Pin top comment description box. Your playlist is down there. List of readings I do here in my other channel. If you'd like to sub over there, I'm not currently uh, uploading over there. But if something happens to this channel, you definitely can find me over there. All right, Aries. So let's see what is going on with this person or Aries. Oh, the sun twice. Okay, double confirmation of healing and enlightenment. Seven of Cups. Healing of confusion. Hierophant. Hmm. Didn't I say about a church? All right, so let's see where this is going. Ace of Cups. 
Wow, okay. And Nine of Cups reverse, so they're not happy right now. So they're definitely, definitely not happy. Um, but the sun is massive, massive healing. And we have kind of like, this could be a newer connection maybe, perhaps for some of you, because we do have the Ace of Cups here. Uh, maybe they've gone through a divorce or something. I mean, we do have the Hierophant here. It doesn't always mean divorce. It just could be leveling up in a big way, growth, expansion, learning, um, morals, traditions, values, standards, faith, hope, religion, and all that kind of energy. So I kind of feel like they're not happy right now, but the sun is ultimate happiness. So whatever sadness or despair they're going through and confusion, I feel like they're battling a lot of questioning, like why and confusion over something that they lost or a heavy burden. And it, and it was not a happy situation for them, whatever that may be. This person, maybe they owned a huge business and they went bankrupt or they had to close it. I mean, the hierarchy could stand for that as well. Like use huge corporations, businesses, enterprises, institutions, things like that. So they could have lost, if it wasn't a loved one, they could have lost something else that was really, really big in their life. And it caused a, them a lot of confusion. But I like the sun here because that is the massive, massive healing here. Very not a happy, very much not a happy time for them. Even though they, they do feel and appreciate you in this new love energy that you brought into their life. But then this hit them hard. Whatever this was. So we have Leo, Taurus, and let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Two of Pentacles. So they're starting to come into balance, and we do have strength here, which is they will overcome this situation. Um, strong, courageous, and brave. Some of you definitely could be dealing with the Leo because we have two cards of Leo here. Um, definitely it's a strong connection, cannot be denied. Maybe past lives together. Willpower, determination. Five of Wands. Yeah, very conflicting time for them right now. But they do know that, you know, you... Oops, <laughs> dropped it. That the two of you are soulmates. Divine alchemy, you know, peace, harmony, balance, joy, love, light, healing past lives maybe even here but they're in healing rest recovery mode here definitely stuck in their head about something i feel like it's they lost something big and they don't understand why four cups here they don't understand why queen of swords showing up again uh, well we got the king queen of swords here so i mean the king queen of swords is like my divorce couple of the deck uh, i don't feel like like you're divorced from this person maybe you both have been divorced in the past you know, some of them, maybe it was a divorce and it was hard for them to get over that even if the situation was lost a long time ago. Sometimes it's a big thing in your life and to say, well, I failed at marriage, that's kind of a hard thing to deal with. But we do have positive movement forward here. So let's see. The Queen of Pentacles could be divorced too in reverse. That also could be somebody who now, who had, you know, a lot of riches or growth prosperity now is on the downside of that with the queen of pentacles in reverse and there's that ten of wands of burning some overwhelmed energy just like that cross but there is love here we do have the king of cups so we have uh sag energy here so let's see um i want us to get a little more information about this situation any more information about this situation and why they felt the need to to feel like they had to shut Aries out of this. All right. Anything more about the situation with this person for Aries? The fool. Oh, clean slate. Death. Yeah, there's... Wow. Okay. <laughs> wow. All right. So for some clearly here, I mean, I don't always take the death card as that. But I was just speaking of that because that was the download I was getting. So, wow. So this person is like, okay, I have to start over. Like, I have to live my life now. On, I don't want to say on their own. I mean, but just, okay, whatever this was that ended, now it's like energetic reset, a fresh clean slate, or... You know, now I have to jump all in on my own without this other energy or this other situation or whatever it was because now it's over, it's done, it's gone. 
Eight of Wands, yeah, moving on. So they real I think they're coming to realize, you know, I can't just sit and dwell in this energy. It's not gonna do me any good. I have to transform, I have to keep moving forward. Three of Pentacles, rebuild myself. If it means rebuilding a business or rebuilding learning new skills or learning something else and build over again, that is also growth expansion. I mean, it could be with you as well. And the unknown card. So it is in reverse, though. This is the only deck that has this card. So the unknown card is like not knowing where, what's going to happen, where things are going from here. It's almost kind of like the moon card in a way. Um, but with it in reverse, it's saying, you know, they know what they have to do now. They have to rebuild themselves, whatever that may be, emotionally, physically, mentally, um, career-wise, whatever that means here, and just keep moving forward. You know, I have. they have to heal and transform and transition into new energy and take a leap of faith here. So we have Aquarius, Scorpio, three of wands, and look to the future. It's time to manifest the future and look to the future. I can't dwell on what happened here. And they do definitely see you as part of their future as well with the Empress here. Same. In the moon. So I did say that uh, unknown card was kind of like the moon card. So even though they know this is what they have to do, they're still not certain where it's going to go from here. Like, I don't know what's in store for me. I don't know what's going to happen in the future. But I do know what I have to do. And whatever happens, happens. And I don't know what the outcome is going to be. But I know I have to keep moving forward here. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles. So maybe a slow, hard process here, but they're ready to cross that finish line. Knight of Pentacles here. Queen of Swords showing whoops, showing up again with the Wheel of Fortune. So clarity of mind here, communication, moving forward, and having like a big epiphany, awakening, you know, wake up call here. Shock, change, revelation. They definitely went through some sort of big, big um unexpected shift or change here i mean maybe they were backstabbed or done dirty and something was taken from them but um i definitely feel like here uh they're just deciding you know i'm gonna keep moving forward here so let's see we have libra aquarius scorpio all right so what else do we need to know here for aries what else do I need to know here for Aries? What else do we need to know, Aries, this person? I still like to know, like, why, uh, why they, like, shut you out if this resonates for you in some way, shape, or form. And you're like, yeah, they closed, they shut me out. I don't get it. I don't know why. Knight of Wands. Four of Pentacles. Well, that is about not holding back anymore. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, they not were not in a great place here. Not stable, not grounded, not having maybe enough resources or definitely they could have lost a lot of money. Queen of Pentacles, yeah. Nine and the Queen of Pentacles reversed. Ace of Wands. Doesn't really tell me here, but I do see that they may have some new ideas endeavors projects lined up here also um i can't deny you know the fire the passion the attraction chemistry between the two of you either this could be you aries with the knight of wands for me it's sag but it could be you i'm feeling like they're rushing in here and they want to share with you their ideas here like their um whatever they're passionate about here they want i don't know if they want you to be a part of it or if they just want to share with you how they're moving forward, the ideas, the endeavors, whatever that means um, for you. Seven of Pentacles is going to take a lot of investments here. I feel like there have been investments in your connection already. Two of Pentacles reversed. They have made up their mind. A lot of Pentacles showing up here, so it could be something around their career. King of Swords showing up again right there, so double that clarity of mind and taking swift action here so now they like you know what? i'm just going to take swift action putting this into motion coming rushing in here two of swords so they've been blocked for a while here maybe it's been a couple of months you haven't heard from them maybe a few weeks but it's definitely not over between the two of you we do have the world in reversed 
here and the king of wands so maybe i mean that's leo energy but it could be you as well you know maybe you're starting to lose starting to lose hope like well maybe you know they shut me out because they were stuck in their head about whatever they were going through and they wouldn't let me in to help them kind of like rejected your love and walked away queen of cups in reverse eight of cups eight of pentacles but definitely they were working working hard on something here so we have uh sag or that could be you aries we have capricorn all right so if this is a person who tends to shut down when they go through things this may be something that really needs to be talked about like you know you just can't shut me out when you're sad or or you know grieving or disappointed or something didn't work out you know that's probably a big big thing that needs to be healed and worked on and talked about that is for sure that could be why we have the king of swords here i mean that ace of pentacles too can be about um career money creativity it also can be in the promise of long-term energy as well all right let's see here aries Right, so let's see what else we need to know here. What else do we need to know here for Aries? Chariot reversed. They're definitely returning. Ten of Pentacles reversed. They definitely lost something. I mean, all the Pentacles are coming in reversed. So for some of you, they've lost something that was very, very stable in their life. I'm feeling it's around work, money, career. Maybe their business fell under or something happened. Um, we can see that tower, so maybe there was like a, a disaster or something that happened. I mean, the Ten of Pentacles reverse can also mean divorce, but let's see. Ace of Swords, clarity from source here, so there's communication that's going to be coming in. The Hermit, they're ready to come out of hiding. It's in reverse. And the Six of Pentacles in reverse, too. All these Pentacles are reversed. Wow. That's, you know, not a great energy as far as, you know, wealth and money things really not being balanced out but they know the only way to rebalance themselves is just to get back to work and rebuild and move forward even if it's in onto unknown territory like if it's work money or career i mean for literally for some it could be that maybe it was a death of a person around them that maybe was like the matriarch or the patriarch of the family and like all of a sudden now they're gone it's the person that kept everything together and now that person's no longer there so there will be clarity communication coming in here as well coming out of hiding even if their situation is not the greatest right now but the chariot reverse can also be about i feel like somebody returning as well it could be sometimes a stuck energy or someone returning it's usually the chariot's about positive movement forward moving forward traveling distance in reverse kind of the opposite here so we have cancer virgo five of cups so definitely disappointed about something here king of pentacles but you know they have the smarts the ability here to commit to something and be that abundant type of person trustworthy person that they once were yeah something definitely ended ten of swords wow seven of pentacles so they know it's going to take a lot here and definitely there's a no communication with the high priestess as well queen of cups reverse two of wands well there you are aries with the queen of wands so they definitely see you as their empress queen of wands and the empress which is kind of like the minor of the empress two of wands Queen of Cups. So I feel like they know they have to make a decision real soon here before they lose. I say lose your love. That's kind of what I feel here. So Cancer showing up here as well. All right. So let's do one more row and see what else um, we have for you, Aries. What else? I also feel like with that mask there, because we have a happy face, we have a melancholy face, we have a shocked face, so a little bit of a sad face. So I feel like, you know, they put on a brave face, but really happy face, brave face, but they're like dying inside. I, I get that as well, too. 
All right, so let's see. Aries, what else? Emperor in reverse. Yeah, they could have lost. Wow. Like they're, they lost something here. What was something that they were proud of and control of or something. They definitely have lost something here. All right, let's see. Five of Cups. So a lot of grief and sadness over something here star so they may not have completed their healing over the loss of something but they definitely know they need to keep moving forward they may not see all the answers or feel like all their wishes are going to come true for the future but they know they definitely um, can't let that hold them back four wands reversed hmm. seven of wands so that could be coming in fighting for what they want and they know they have a little bit of walls up here. Now if you were talking about marriage or commitment because that would be the four of wands but it's in reverse, they may say, you know what, maybe maybe if you were talking, I mean we do have the Hierophant up there and maybe you know this big thing happened and now they're like, okay, now we have to prolong or postpone rather the the uh, engagement, the marriage, or whatever, and that could be a big thing for them as well. So, I mean, I feel like they're going to come in here and say, you know, we're going to have to work this out and move forward. I have some ideas, but we may have to postpone our plans, but we'll figure it out because the sun is the happiest card in the deck, and you have that twice. So there's some sort of peace offering here, finding peace in the situation and just moving forward from here definitely so and this is you as well Aries so in reverse so definitely um, you don't know what's going to happen from here but we do have Aquarius as well yeah a lot of disconcernment like I just don't know what's going to happen here and uh, another four of swords so four of swords four of cups so melancholy discern you know undiscerning energy and then healing resting recovering over an ending wow i mean this just keeps coming out here so whatever that means for them definitely but again six of swords about okay i gotta leave it behind me keep moving forward into the light into peace harmony and joy balance seven of swords i'm not gonna let this like throw me off course or throw me um into like a downward spiral spiral seven of swords reversed ten of wands again a very overwhelming energy here but this is about getting justice so so for some reason you know this is things that are meant to be um maybe there's some legalities involved as well could be going in their favor um or it could be the divorce or whatever or this could also speak of marriage so but this is about truth clarity justice balance getting what we deserve universal law and order so all will work out as it should be and it may not feel that way right now so there's communication coming in here with the page of swords definitely here but right now they're in the process of learning how to leave something behind them six of cups there's like no returning back to a past situation i feel all right all right here we so i'm gonna get you uh some of this deck here and see what this has to offer I mean, I know a lot of people like, oh, what a time frame. I mean, Spirit doesn't like time. But um, let's see. We have Aquarius, Aries. You're there with the Emperor. We have a seven here, which could be by the end of July. All right. Well, let's see. And then we have the star, which is 17, which would be eight. which So it could be July, August. So with this deck here, we're going to see if there's any advice, guidance for you, what else you need to know. But if this did resonate, you enjoyed this series, please do like, share, subscribe, comment, hit the bell. Any support given is truly appreciated, and I thank you. And again, everything you need is below. So what else does Aries need to know? This one. Inner infinite supply. You are supplied for today and all of your tomorrow. So the universe is like, don't worry, Aries, especially your person. Everything's going to be fine. It may not feel that way right now. Just know everything's going to turn out as it should be. Inner wisdom. You know what to do. Trust your inner wisdom and take appropriate action without delay. <clears throat> so definitely trust your intuition at this time. 
regarding this whole situation. Be strong. This is the strength card. We did see the strength card at the bottom of the deck at one point. A lot of Leo energy showing up here. You are stronger than you think you are, and your strength for sure is a happy outcome. So this person will overcome, and you're going to have to be strong too. I mean, not for this person, but for the connection and, well, kind of like for them. But I feel like they will also overcome the situation. And your connection will also strengthen. Focused intention. Keep your unwavering thoughts, feelings, and actions focused on your target. And you will make your mark. So, I'm just kind of feeling like whatever this person's going to do here, that they're going to really come in and share this with you. And it's about really being intent, uh, focused on on them in their ideas their situation and really being a part of that being strong just know everything's going to work out fine trust your intuition at this time like if you're like okay i'm just gonna let them come to me start themselves out um i think they will guiding children you are good at helping counseling and healing children use your skills to help children now i was gonna say okay this is crazy because when i got the death card I got the download that maybe some some of them lost a child and I didn't say it because I'm like, well, I'm not really want to go there. Maybe, you know, guiding children. So whenever I don't say something, when spirit gives it to me in my head, <laughs> and I don't say it. They make me say it. Mary, you should know better. And I don't listen. So guiding children, some may have lost a child. Um, and now they may focus their future moving forward working with children and they may, may be more successful than they were before and they may have may done something totally different than what they've done you know previously so i mean that may only resonate for one person but that's kind of what i got here they may have maybe they have other children maybe you have children or maybe one of you already work with children so maybe spending more time with children as well Right, Aries, that's what I have for you. So I hope that helped that resonate. Again, everything you need to know is down below. Wishing you the best and I shall see you next time.